Hello guys, now we will watch new episode of Smiling Friends. Yes, season 2 episode 2 we will watch it called Mr. President. Here we go. Good evening and welcome to Worm News. I'm your host, William Worm. Yes, and I'm Wendy Worm. Yes, we know. First up, an election update. Squiggly Miggly narrowly clinched the nomination today, making him the main rival to the highly unpopular President Jimble. In a sense, this Squiggly race. Miggly's definitely going to win. President Jimble has no chance. You never know, Alan. After all, President Ross Perot won re-election in 1996 in a major upset. Oh, you're so right, Pim. I forgot about that factoid. Who are you going to vote for, Charlie? I don't vote. Okay, and I'll tell you why right now, Pim, listen up very carefully. Little guys like you and me, we're called peons in this world, and we don't decide who the president is. Come well, on, Charlie. Charlie, that's silly. Every single vote matters. Look, I'm just not interested in getting involved in politics, okay? Sorry. Hey, boys, guess who just got a call to make the president smile? The president will see you now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, uh. You suck. No yep, what yep. You do, Good to speak to you, too. Quit. Thank you. You're, you're terrific. Oh, oh, hi. Are you two here to bring me my napkins? No. Okay, let me just put in some nap napkins. Mr. President, where the smiling friends? Oh, usually the two, two's like called. I don't know if you heard, but I was the vice president to, uh, President Pinhead. He died last month from a bad shrimp. And I became the president. Yeah, yeah, they know, they know. <laughs> Mr. Frog? No. Disaster. <laughs> That's why you're up uh, feeling unwell. Can we stop and get more lamb for lunch? No, no more lamb. Pim, did you see Mr. Frog just announced his plan to fix the economy? Man, he, he is good. <laughs> Girl, I'll show that toad bastard an ergonomic plan. Hello, America. I'm going to be the money president. Each and every one of you get $1 billion each. So you can all be rich. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> you can't do that. You'll crash the economy. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Everybody's going to have to give back all that money to the government. By the way, sorry about those loud noises. That was just from my diaper. I don't want to have another action from the bad lamp. All better. Dude, check the news. It doesn't matter what channel. Am 
I winning yet? No, no, not at all, man. You shit your pants and crash the economy <laughs> within the same day. What are you talking about, dude? Look, the one thing you've still got over Mr. Frog is that you're actually in office. If we can just get you this one easy foreign policy win, we can make a comeback. Uh, I'm feeling sick again. Oh my God, Just dude. get through it quickly, you'll be fine. He's an honor among his people, and he's an eternal ally of the United States. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, I did it. I did it. I didn't get sick from a salad lamb. You, you were supposed to condemn him. What? You just emboldened a war criminal dictator. <laughs> Dude, I don't know anything about politics, and even I know he's bad. He wiped a whole fucking race of people off the face of the planet. Maybe it will be all right. All right, so it looks like you're projected to lose every single state in what could be a historic landslide for Mr. Frog. But we still have the debate, I guess. Debate. I've done two. <laughs> you are the worms from news. <laughs> 3D printed shotgun. We want to remind you to not uh, talk out loud, do not applaud. You're just wasting time. Now, our first question tonight goes to Mr. Frog. Mr. Frog, why are you so evil? You have one second to respond. Hello, I think Time's up, plus you're wrong. <laughs> the next question is for our beloved and highly intelligent president. Why are you so amazing? You have unlimited time to respond. Oh, a uh, pre presidential p p p policy. I... <sighs> I can't do this. A little pink guy once told me I needed to find out what I'd be good at as president. I finally figured it out. I'm the president who shouldn't have been the president. Let's face it, I'm a Yes, you are. No, I always used to want to win the election and have people like me. But I don't care about that anymore now. I just want to be honest. And everyone that trolled me and gave me nasty messages, fuck you, <laughs> fuck off, jack off. Thank you. <laughs> that answer was correct. Jimbo, correct. Jimbo, 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 Jimbo. When do the results start coming in? Next few minutes. I got 10 G's says Jimbo's gonna win. And if he doesn't. Then I'll take matters into my own hands. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll do it though. I'm just playing, dude. No. Serious. But no, I, I, I'll actually do it. Hey, Pim. Sorry about bail the other day, man. I, I guess I'm not really cut up for politics. No, it's fine, Charlie. Everything ended up working out. 
I don't know if President Jimbal is going to win, but something about that debate really turned things around. Yeah, well, you know, it kind of reminds me how Shrimpo Joe's won those debates by surprise. <laughs> Push your tie. What? <laughs> Clap. I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. What an episode, guys. Crazy, huh? I hope you like it. Don't forget to comment.